Hey, this is Lego Megazord, and I'm going to show you how to successfully do the Hex Nano Mission, Charmed Life. First, you have to go to the Mount, or well, Monkey Mountain. When you get to Monkey Mountain, you know, just cruise your way past the infected zone. Go up north. But your goal is to defeat some volcanic toads, or whatever they're called. You need to get a magic box. So, you know, eventually, when you get there, you'll fight them. If you notice, there's you have to get one. It's a zero dash one chance. That means it might take a while. And if you've ever done or seen that Skull Basher mission for a Ben Guide, it takes a while. Okay, fight them. Fighting, fighting, dead. He didn't have one though, no magic. Fight him. Nope, he didn't have one either. So we'll go down here, fight him. Nope, he didn't have one. Fight him. You know, supposedly if you get closer to that red dot, you'll have a better chance of finding one. Let's see if that's true. Still a little ways away from the dot, and I haven't found one yet. So let's go even closer to the red dot, and see if I have a better chance of finding one. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at that. I was pretty close, and I got one. Might have just been luck, though. Alright, next you're going to want to go to Hex. All right. Once you get to, to Devil's Bluff, you're gonna want to go find Hex. He's over here by the bonfire roasting marshmallows. Talk to him and he'll say something. I'm not really sure what, because I never read what he writes. Then you're gonna want to go to Forsaken Valley. All right, we're at Forsaken Valley. Now, as soon as you get here, what you're gonna want to do is go to Dinosaur Pass. If you're unsure where Dinosaur Pass is, don't worry. I haven't cut anything. You'll get to see it, just as I've seen it in the game. Alright, so we're walking, I mean, riding a hoverboard. Get that egg if it's there. Not that it really matters. Do, do, do. Follow the beaten path. Just keep going up. But be sure you turn off the beaten path so you get to the bridge about over here somewhere there, where, there it is now if you haven't known or figured it out already you can get across this bridge by going on the rope little section here be careful not to fall off but you could completely get across it by going on that rope so then you'll get over here just follow the beaten path again do 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 just follow it you know, hopefully you're playing some cool music when you're doing this. Because it can get pretty boring just going from place to place. So, do do do, almost there. Uh oh, other players. They make my game lag bad. Hopefully it doesn't happen. Going to enter the infected zone. And bam, you're in the infected zone. Now. In case you didn't know, I pre-record these and then record my voice over it. Now you're going to see a glitch. See that? How I was running in the air? When you're running in the air, that's a glitch. You cannot use your rocket nano because the game thinks you are running. You need to be careful and jump straight up. It'll happen again. Very shortly. See that? Thought I was running, couldn't use my rocket nano, dropped and fell right to the ground. <laughs> when you're doing the, I think it's Jam Band Mission Part 3 or 4, if this happens, you might get pretty angry. So I'd be careful. S to ensure this doesn't happen, jump straight up, and then move forward. Jump straight up, move forward. Jump straight up, move forward. Of course, that glitch doesn't happen all the time. Now, if you look around, you cannot see that green glowy thing because I had to turn it off for my settings. But I know it's right there. That's the infected zone. I mean the um 
layer I need to go to. So just follow the zip lines. Do do do. In case you didn't know, while the bone's turning, just jump in the air. And then you won't get turned onto the ground. Follow the zip line. Now, if you have a rocket nano, you don't even need to continue on zip lines. You can just go right through the layer from here. But if you took the zip line, that one, you could just drop right down on it. Enter the layer. Alright, you're in the lair. Your mission here is just to defeat Fusion Hex, but these fusion monsters are right by the where you come in, the entrance. So you'll probably have to fight some. If you look at them, they kind of look like that one Pokemon called Torkor or something. It has a volcano thing on its back. But anyway, we won't think about Pokemon. So just go through the lair. Now, like I always do, I'm going to look for a quick way to get there without actually having to go through the lair. And, and that looks looks like I just found one. You can almost make it up though with just a rocket nano, but not quite. So what I'm going to do is go on these rocks here. Now, it's very hard sometimes to jump onto them and time consuming, but it can save you a lot of hassle and you won't have to fight any fusion monsters. So, now you see fusion hex, but if you look, you can also see some of those volcano fusion monsters. You need to be careful when fighting fusion hex that you don't hit any of those fusion monsters or come in contact with them because if you do, they can kill you or you kill the fusion monster of the lair that gives you your nano. Like in just a second, you're going to see what happens when they get you. Now, look at this. They're getting me. They're getting me. I'm probably going to die before I get this nano. But I just barely killed the fusion monster before they killed me. And now if you're worried if you die before you select it, you'll just go right to the entrance and then be able to select your power. I'm going to choose run because the other powers are kind of silly. Now all you have to do is just exit the lair because you're level 29 now. You're better than those level 28s.